Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in. For anyone who is new to the channel or hasn't really watched many of my videos, my name is Jacob. I'm a fourth year med student here in the Midwest and I started med school right after high school through a combined BSMD program. Now, I already have an entire video talking all about the overview of what a BSMD program is compared to the traditional route into medical school, so I'm not gonna get into that today. If you wanna check out that video, there's gonna be a link and a card right up there. But for today, what I'm gonna be touching on is really how I came to the realization that I wanted to go into this type of program and why I thought it was a great fit for me. Now, the first thing I'll start off by saying is that BSMD programs are not for everyone. The traditional route is traditional for a reason, and that's obviously the most popular way that people get into med school. The reason I even started thinking about this kind of program was A, I was I was living in an area that was pretty close to it, and it was a well-known program. My pediatrician, my dermatologist graduated from the same school I'm at. And as far as I can remember from a very early age, I wanted to be a doctor. That's exactly what I knew that I wanted to be. And because I lived in a close vicinity to a program, that offered BSMD routes. It was something that I was exposed to, something that I constantly heard about growing up as an option. So when the time came, sophomore, junior, senior year of high school, where I was really thinking about what I wanted to do once I started my college education, I really considered all the pros and cons of these types of programs, like in the video there. What it really boiled down to that led me to this decision was I knew that I wanted to be a doctor, and that's a big thing for BSMD programs. There's no break in between where you can get a basic undergrad degree and then have those options after you graduate. Graduate. If you're in a BSMD program, it is a commitment for that amount of time. For me, it was six years. In addition to being okay with that commitment, there were a lot of other added benefits to a BSMD program that I saw. For instance, the fact that there is no MCAT requirement for the UMKC program. The MCAT, as pretty much everyone knows, is another one of those dreaded aptitude tests. And for a lot of students, that is the barrier that prevents them from getting into med school. So the fact that UMKC's program did not require that as part of their program made it a huge plus for me. In addition, something that was super obvious was the fact that I was super committed to med school. I wanted to get in and get started with the things that I loved early. So I didn't want to take that first four years to do a lot of general education. I wanted to start start school and start learning about the things that I was passionate about. And that is what you can do with these combined programs because they know all of their students who are gonna be in it are interested in medicine. So you can start those medically related classes and clinical experiences and workshops even earlier. And of course, another major thing that was a really big plus for me when considering my path through med school was the time factor. Obviously, UMKC's program is one of the very few six-year programs left. There are a lot of seven and eight-year programs that are combined. And it's not like you're missing out on anything because it is shorter. They have you working through the summers, so that makes up for the time that would be lost normally when you're doing your four years of undergrad and four years of med school, where you get more like summer breaks. And this was definitely something that I was concerned about early on. A lot of my friends were going to big state schools, um, you know, doing 12 to 15 credit hours a semester, and they were going to be having an amazing time. And I was worried that I was going to be left out and not getting really that college experience. So it was definitely something that I considered when it came time to make my final college decisions. Ultimately, I came to the decision that my career goals and my dream to become a physician was far more important than me going to a state school, enjoying four years of undergrad and partying. And I told myself that if I wanted to get that full college experience and have a lot of fun, that I could do that. And I made it a priority for my myself while I was here and now that I'm graduating I can look back and say that I had a fantastic time both in and out of the classroom. The reason that I say BSMD programs aren't for everyone is that some people need that four years of undergrad studying biology or biochemistry to really decide if this kind of field is what they really want to go into and it can be a very very costly expensive mistake if you have an inkling that you want to go into medicine and go to a BSMD program and then come to realize a year or two later that it's not for you. So while the BSMD route is is a fantastic one for people who are 100% committed and know that this is what they wanna do and are willing to put in the work and the time to do it in a shorter amount of time. The traditional route is traditional for a reason and it gives people that time to decide if this is truly the career path that they wanna go into. Fortunately for me, UMKC was a very close option, one that I had heard about throughout my whole childhood and into high school, so it was an easy decision for me as to which BSMD program I wanted to go to. And this by no means excludes anyone who doesn't live in the Midwest. We have students in my class all the way from California, from Massachusetts. So no matter where you are in the country, if you're interested, UMKC would be a great place to look at to apply. In addition, check your local colleges and see if they offer a BSMD program. Even if it's not six years, you still get that guaranteed acceptance and potentially no MCAT. If you have any specific questions about UMKC's program, BSMD programs in general, or are unsure if it's a good 
fit for you, make sure you drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions and give you my honest thoughts. Thanks for watching another episode of my series on BSMD programs and UMKC. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. There's going to be a lot more coming about these types of programs. And as always, I'll see you next time.